video, we bring you some cool intermediate country two-step moves. <laughs> everybody miss emily and miss megan from countrydanceonline.com we are here to bring you some intermediate country two-step moves that are super fun so hope you like it we're gonna go ahead and show it first and then break it down so it starts from a shoulder check we have quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow and quick quick slow slow there's a couple of different variations Sorry. that we're going to do tonight so um let's go ahead and break down the shoulder check first we can do it from this side so uh actually we'll do the whole thing and then we'll break it down we have quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow quick quick slow slow Quick, quick, slow, slow. I'm keeping Miss Megan on her toes. So let's go ahead and break down the shoulder check first. I know we've done a lot of outside turns to get into things. We are going to use the shoulder check um, to get into our barrel turn or barrel roll today. So we start with an outside turn and we, ch or we check or catch the shoulder. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that from this side. And then we'll break it down. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. For now, we'll just come back to an open position. <laughs> so, leaders, we are leading an, <laughs> an outside turn. And like I said, with the right hand, we're going to catch the shoulder of the follower. So at this point, we have quick, quick, slow. Slow, we're familiar with this turn. We have quick, quick, slow. We catch her left shoulder and allow her to step through for that shoulder check position. At this point, we're gonna bring uh, an inside turn. She's gonna turn over the left shoulder for quick, quick, slow, slow, and we are back to our regular position. So let's do that one more time from this direction. And then we will talk about the follower's footwork. So we have quick, quick, slow, prep, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, inside turn, quick, quick, slow, slow. Cool. So for the followers, it's an outside turn into an inside turn. So we will go through just the first part. I'll stay a little bit closer to her. <laughs> we have and quick, quick, slow, slow. We have quick, quick, slow, slow. So you're doing a chenet turn into a pivot and stepping forward. So let's try that again. From the top, we have quick, quick, slow, slow. She posts quick, quick, slow, slow. She steps forward. So instead of continuing that turn around, we are both facing the same direction. We are gonna stop her and allow her left side to feed through. Then we're gonna lead her in, into an inside turn. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow. So it's one and a half rotations for the follower each way, outside and then back inside. Do it one more time the whole way through without stopping and then we'll switch around and do it from the other side. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, catch, step through, quick, quick, slow, slow. Back to our basic position. All right, so if we did this shoulder check position, towards the camera. Hello, Ms. Allison. From here, we are feeding the left side through, and then she's coming back around the left side to be in this position. So we do an outside turn with baby steps. As soon as we see the left shoulder, we connect, she steps through, and then we continue back around for the inside turn into our closed position. So a lot of the time when we see, when we see or teach the shoulder check, the leader likes to be right behind the follower. That's not a good place to be. So from this position, we're gonna make our way to the side of her or him. We have quick, quick, slow, slow. At this point, she's on a slightly different track, so I'm gonna continue on my track forward. 
quick, quick, slow, we connect to that left shoulder, and then she continues through here. If we were to be right behind them, it would be a very, very uncomfortable position for everyone involved. So make sure that you make your way to the side, continuing down your track. Thank you. And then we continue the rotation in towards us, quick, quick, slow, slow. <laughs> Sorry. So um, let's do it from this position. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. And since we're going in separate dire or, uh, different directions in the same pattern, we will kind of, uh, at first we are going to start with the fingers facing that direction and then Megan is gonna continue to create that connection with just the, sorry, the tips of the fingers. So from here, this is bringing her back into the inside turn. Um, it's not necessarily going to change that way in the middle of it. So make sure that you've got the connection with the fingers, which will bring the follower back around for the inside turn. All right, one more time, and then we will add the barrel roll. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. One more time from this side. I lied. And quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Cool? Any questions? All right, moving on into the barrel turn. So we're gonna get to the shoulder check and then we're gonna stop and kind of talk about what's about to happen after that. All right, we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now at this point, Leaders, you're going to have made your way a little bit further forward than normal shoulder check. You're not going to be back here. Um, and then we have already changed the hand. So instead of doing the inside turn, we're actually going to bring the hand down as we pivot. So we're bringing and swinging the hand through so we can both pivot together and come around. So let's just do that without worrying about the steps really quick. From here, we are switching the hand so that our, our hand is underneath. This continues up and over through the middle plane of our body. So from here, we continue through the middle plane of our body, and then we find that connection. She's gonna stop into this hand, which we'll talk about a little bit more in just a second, and then we can open up into whatever we're going to do afterwards. So, for the shoulder check, we'll do it from this side. And we'll just do the first step of the barrel roll. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So I've already made my way a little bit more forward than normal. Typically I'd be like right here-ish for the regular shoulder check. So I'm a little bit more shoulder to shoulder with her. Then we flip the hand down like before. We both pivot around and then we step back. Yes? So. Let's do it from the side. We are not gonna stop this time, and we'll talk about it. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, and slow. Cool, so let's go ahead and talk about our footwork, and then we will try it together again. So leaders, we have our normal shoulder check. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. At this point, the hand is going to come underneath uh, of your follower. So we step back for slow, we step forward for slow, then back and into whatever we do next, which we should probably decide before we try to do it. So just a tip. Let's try that again. So they are pivot turns together. Make sure that they are right underneath your body. Um, the more they get outside of your body, the less control you have. And since you're doing this simultaneously with another human being, it's probably good to keep it small. So let's try it from the top. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, we pivot, quick, quick, slow, back, slow. All right, followers, your turn. So you still have your outside turn for the shoulder check. Let's just get to there and stop. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now from here, if you were doing a regular uh, shoulder check, 
the hand would stay on top or above the head. At this point, this hand is gonna come, like I said, in the middle plane and down to start the barrel turn. So as she rotates down, it's a pivot back and forward, back, and then we step into our second slow. So no timing change, everything still stays quick, quick, slow, slow. It's just a completely different path for the arm. So let's go ahead and do that without stopping. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, switch the hand, quick, quick, slow, back, slow. Any questions? In, at the end of the barrel roll? No, probably in the shoulder. Yeah. Probably shoulder. Oh, okay. What was the question? So when, <laughs> how, when does the leader's hand get there to show that the uh, leader has stopped? Oh, so the question is for the shoulder check, when does the leader's hand get to the shoulder to stop it? So it actually makes a connection on the first slow, but you are not stopping her until the second slow. So from here, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, we connect, we do not stop her at this point, she still has to follow through and step for that second slow. So you are kind of making a little, I think you call, what is it, towel, towel hang over the shoulder? Sure. sure. Rag. Towel rag? Rag. Rag. Rack? Towel rack. <laughs> I thought you said rag. I did too. So from here, your fingers are going on top of the follower's shoulder. Do not press down. The only thing that will happen is it can go forward. So you are making a stopping point for your follower to then go back the opposite way. So don't push down, leaders. You connect by the first slow. She follows through on the second slow, as do you. There's a common misconception that you do not take that last step as the leader, but you absolutely have to take that last step, especially if you're gonna attempt the barrel roll afterwards. So if we do just the shoulder check again, we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, connect, step through. At this point, we're gonna do the barrel turn. We have quick, quick, slow, slow. Cool, so if we did that towards the camera, we're gonna make this very, very small so you can see the hand. So the hand is here, we bring it down. We are both stepping back on my left foot, Megan's right foot. This hand doesn't go too low and it doesn't stay high. It's about our waist level right here. We swing through as we pivot and then back and back again. You have extra width back I know, back there. I have my two pack <laughs> bum. So from here, we have quick, quick, slow, slow. <laughs> that made it a little bit easier. But yes, so the hand will not go too low and don't keep it high. It's usually gonna be about the waist level and it swings through and up. Whee! Good, let's do that whole thing from this side. All right, we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, now from here, there are a couple of different ways that we are gonna get out of it. You can do whatever you would like, but from this position, since I already have this left hand, I'm gonna do an outside turn for my follower, side together, side, switch the hand to a more normal position, we open up, and then we're gonna do a free spin exit, quick, quick, slow, slow for the follower. Question. As a leader, how do you determine if your follow is physically capable of following them? And by that I mean you don't know if they have shoulder issues or something, so how do you figure that out? That's a good question. So the question was, as a leader, how do you figure out if your follower is capable of doing this move? Um, one, if there's a huge height discrepancy, probably wouldn't try the barrel roll turn thing. Um, but you also want to make sure that your follower, as you've already been dancing, doesn't try to help or lock or tense up her arms. So the more, the more tense she is, uh, the less likely I would be to try this turn. Uh, the 
Yeah. So if they're a little, if they're on the newer side, if they don't spin well, if there are, there are a couple of different things that I would think about. So if they haven't spun well up to that point, if they keep trying to anticipate what you're doing, probably not the best thing. Um, but the shoulder check makes it a little bit easier to get into that position. Uh, so you can maybe try the shoulder check by itself first and then see if you can um, ramp it up to the barrel turn if you're feeling all of those factors are good to go. Any As a follower though, if you <clears throat> do have shoulder injuries, I would let your leader know ahead of time because that also helps them as you're dancing because if they don't know, you know, yeah. I mean, that's not- Don't be afraid to say can, that. Can assess as they're going. They might be able to feel a little stiffness, but I would also be honest if your shoulder is not feeling well. Yes. Agreed. So when things go well, what is the spacing in the partnership during barrel roll? <laughs> when they go well. <laughs> so <laughs> from this position, the question was, when things go well, where what is the spacing between the leader and the follower during the barrel turn roll thing? I've heard it called a barrel turn, barrel roll, whatever you like to call it. All the barrels. All the barrels. So at this position, we are, like I said, we are making sure that we're a little bit more in line with our partner and not super far behind. Then at this point, we are kind of, I'm slightly behind. Megan is slightly in front as we continue around into our turn. So if you are super far behind, I would not try to do this move. If you're moving forward, or if you have moved forward successfully and you're in a good position, you're about to attempt the barrel turn, make sure that you both step back, forward, back, and into the next move. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and go. We've done the outside turn for the follower. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow. Followers, you should be pretty uh, familiar with that turn. Then leaders, for you as, you, as you rotate into this connection, you're gonna do the free spin, so I like to rock back for quick, quick, slow, slow. If you have a good rotational connection here with your right hand, the follower's left, that gives them a good start to the turn as they do their free spin or inside turn to the left, quick, quick, slow, slow. The free spin allows them to get in front of you so you can get back to your basic two-step position. So that was option one. We are now going to do a free spin for the follower, two free spins. So we're in this position, we've just finished the barrel turn. Again, leaders, you'll do side together, side. So side together, side, we step forward and then you can free spin quick, quick, slow, slow. If you wanna get crazy leaders, you can do the spin too. So the barrel turn's gone well, we're feeling it, we wanna turn as well, we post quick, quick, slow, slow, and then she still gets the last spin after that. So there are a couple of different options. Let's go ahead and do the two free spin option. We're gonna go from the top. So we're gonna do the shoulder check, barrel roll, then into all the turns. <laughs> All the turns for the follower. <laughs> Leaders will do the side together, side forward, and then the rock step to do uh, to lead her free spin. So we have quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow, slow. Moving back to our main little area. Shout out to Ben and Miss Allison for helping behind the camera tonight. As we needed someone to move the, the camera for two steps, so much appreciated. Um, let's do it one more time. We are now gonna do the free spin for the leader and the follower, and then the follower's free spin to end it. Here we go. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow and a free spin for the follower. Let's do it back this way. And quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, 
quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, questions? Yes. Um, is there a lead, going back to the barrel turn again, is there, what is the lead for the follow to know that that's coming? What is the lead for the follow? So for what move? For the barrel turn! <laughs> Roll thing. So from this position, the lead for the uh, follower from here, leaders, like I said, you have to make sure that you have flipped your hand and it is underneath. If it's in some other weird position, this is probably not going to be super successful. So make sure from the shoulder check, you have taken, uh, it is the pinky side of her hand, and you've rolled your hand underneath. So at this point, like I said, the hand is not going to continue around for the inside turn. It's going to come <laughs> down and through. So she continues that connection into this hand. We continue the connection in the middle of us for quick, quick, slow, and we stop into that and step back for slow. So we said we were going to talk about the connection after the barrel, barrel turn as well. So once we're here, coming to you again, we are going to step just our first step back. So from here, we're typically usually facing the direction, and then we spot back around, boom, and then we step. She's gonna continue into this connection here, and then you can either do, you can step back, you can step back down the line, you can do a weave, you can do whatever you want, as long as you find that connection at the end. So leaders, what you're focusing on is changing that hand from this position, you're changing it underneath, again, not too low, not too high, Think about your waist and keeping the connection here with our elbows flared a little bit. Then we pivot around and we step back. So once we've stepped and made our third step, followers, you're finding that connection into this hand and then we step back after that. Other questions? I hope that answers that question. <laughs> okay, so Let's do it from this side. We will do um, the free spin for both of us and then the free spin for <laughs> the follower. Here we go. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Switch that hand. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So to go over the last little bit, once we both post for the free spin, at this point, leaders, if you are going to do the spin with her, again, you have the rotational connection. So uh, Miss Megan is doing a good job of rotating into this and not having a noodle arm. At this point, we are going to step on that first step. Notice I'm leaving my right side back. She's leaving her left side back. And we are both going to close our feet. So this was quick, quick, slow. We connect again. And then we step through for that second slow, leading us into the free spin exit for the follower. Any questions? All right, so let's do it one more time from the top. I will do just the side together side option for the leader, so no free spin for us, uh, but two free spins for the follower. Here we go. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Switch the hand, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, Quick, quick, slow, and slow. All right. Let's do it one more time going this way just because it's fun. So if you have a hallway while we're on lockdown for the coronavirus, this is a perfect thing to do down the hall as long as you have enough space. But if you don't have a lot of space, it would also require you to stay small, which is not a bad thing. So from here, down our hallway, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Switch the hand, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow and quick, quick, slow, slow. All right, that is going to be your shoulder check to your barrel roll into whatever exit you would like. Free spin, underarm turn, free spin for the leader, whatever you're feeling like at that moment. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, my name is Miss Emily. This is Miss Megan from Country Dance Online. Uh, if you find that you are needing help with spins, turns, any of that stuff, we do have resources on our website. 
uh, Country Dance Online, as well as westcoastswingonline.com. So check those out, and we'll see you back tomorrow.